shoreline on the planet. They're a uh, range usually between 500 and 600 pounds, females being lighter. Um, they are distributed throughout a pretty large uh, stretch of the world, all the way from Siberia and northern Russia, down through central and southern China and India, and as far south as Indonesia, places like uh, Cambodia, Laos, uh, Thailand, Malaya Peninsula, where he is from, and actually on the island of Tigers um, exist in probably about only 7% of their original range in the world. Do you have Bambi? Yep. I have too. So because these guys live in such a densely forested area, that's the reason why they live a lot. It wouldn't be as intriguing to attack because if we're all clumped them through the jungle together, their prey would hear you. So these guys totally rely on stealth and survival. So if you look at their body, they're built for jumping and for pouncing. Their, long, their rear legs are much longer than their front legs. And you'll see that the front is very, very bulky. And that's where he carries the, the majority of his weight. So perfect for jumping up and getting a, a large deer or an animal. Which is what these guys prefer to get. They prefer to take down animals 50 pounds or more. But if the need for, you know, arises, they'll eat the stuff and they can get a hold of. So that's the reason why they live, uh, live alone, and they have fairly large territories. Male tigers will have territories that will be sometimes in excess of 40 miles, and all of the territories butt up against each other. So everybody knows where the other tiger is, and they all kind of respect the boundaries. These guys spend a lot of time patrolling their, their territories, and by doing things to keep the territories to themselves. They'll scent mark. They will scratch, you'll see all around his exhibit here, he does it too. The scratching leaves a scent mark. Uh, of course, they use their feces and their urine to leave very distinctive messages that say, this is my home, stay away, intruders. Uh, females also maintain a territory, but it's usually a lot smaller than the males, maybe just like 10 to 15 miles. So one male may have several females in his territory. So one male will usually breed with several females. Uh, these guys... Of course I lost my train of thought. What else was I going to say? <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, their numbers um, are probably less than 5,000 wild tigers left in the world. Um, the largest population is probably in China, where it's about 1,500 animals. However, there are a lot, a lot of captive tigers, over 12,000 in the United States alone, and most of those are in private. Just like salmon. And private the problem with that is those animals, of course, do not belong to breeding programs. There's no way to manage and control their care. Of course, and in uh, a lot of cases, you know, their genetic material was lost, and we're not able to use it in the breeding process. Playing with the big so zoos, we've done a really good job of like maintaining like the, the species time that are to, still around and hopefully you know, someday some of these right. areas will improve and some of the tigers will be able to be uh, re-vegetated and re-vegetated. Yeah. 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 So what can we do in a Tascadero to help? Because, you know, like we said, the biggest problem is man and, you know, it's very difficult to change people's minds uh, about what is valuable and what is not. Um, one argument has been that, you know, people try to kill tigers, that it's an honored tradition and that a lot of, you know, you know, that it's something that's been going on for a long time. That is true to a certain extent, but unfortunately most of the tigers are killed by poachers who sell them, you know, to the medical trade, the fur trade. So, if you're traveling abroad, obviously don't support anything, you know, that has anything to do with live animals or live animal products. Yeah. And if you choose to contribute to oh, conservation or to uh, organizations that... Actually, tigers that love getting wet. See? Do so in, with an organization that contributed to the nature of the, the, the native people. Uh, so, I mean, there's even that um, people who've been attacked by tigers in boats. Yeah. They're out there, their little canoe, and the tiger swims out to them. Getting a profit from the animals that live in their area than, you know, hunting them for 
So, um, if anybody has any questions, I'll try to help you. You must not be very hungry. Hmm? You must uh, not be very hungry. Traditional medicine, a lot of the parts okay. supposedly have medicinal purposes. So, uh... Look at that face. Is that a face? <laughs> oh, shoot. Stupid camera focus. Piece of crap. So cute. Looks like a cute red raccoon almost. Looks like a raccoon except without the rabies and it's actually cute. Yeah. <laughs> God, I hate raccoons. Look at them. Ugly. Like they seem cute like you see pictures of them but if you see them in real life they're so Good focus. And they're jerks. Look at them. Look at with Scarlet barking at him like crazy. We had one that came in our sunroom. Oh God. He was eating, popped the lid off of Scarlet's dog food and started to eat it. Scarlet came to the window and started barking at it like crazy with her big girl bark. And he says, okay, I'm done. Too many no. people. He, well, he comes to the window with a shotgun and naked. Like, God. <laughs> naked man with a shotgun. And why was he naked? Because he was sleeping. He sleeps naked. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes he sleeps in his underwear. Sometimes he sleeps naked. Just depending on how warm it is. But yeah, he... Suburb, suburban barking. redneck. Scarlet's barking and he yells at me. I go to see what it is. Mm -hmm. He yells at me. He's like, what's she barking at? I'm like, a raccoon. He's like, a raccoon? And then I see him come with a shotgun. Where is it? Where is it? I'm like, oh my god. We have officially re reached redneck status. <laughs>